Wasp is a legacy character. She's right there on the cover of Avengers number one. Finally, every single character from that first issue of Avengers is here on the big screen. Hi. We saw the original Wasp, Janet Van Dyne, in a brief flashback in the first movie. Janet, no! And at the end of the movie, we finally saw a new suit and Hank Pym realizing, of course, this suit belongs to his daughter, Hope. It's about damn time. But now in Ant-Man and the Wasp, we see her in all her glory. Watch this. She gets to wear this suit that she's been coveting her whole life. She so desperately wanted to follow in the footsteps of her parents, who had been incredible superheroes in their day. And so she's finally doing that. Hope has this incredible capability and incredible drive as a fighter, as a scientist, to be this hero. She's the toughest one in the movie. She lives to be Wasp. She lives to be this superhero mantle. Follow my lead. This film is primarily a fun, clever, emotional story of family. Because the quantum realm is where Hope's mother, Janet Van Dyne, the original Wasp, had been lost. Presumably forever. I was in the quantum realm, and I think I saw Janet. Now the mission becomes, can they go down there and bring back her mom? I'm not giving up on mom. If this technology gets into the wrong hands, it's just chaos. The stakes are so high. We don't have much time. Ant-Man and the Wasp also connects directly to Avengers 4. These characters are going to be very important going forward. Ant-Man and the Wasp teaming up. Rated PG-13.